Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So first things first, I will be starting off with this foam board and also these four Dollar Tree mirrors. I will be using my silver Sharpie to trace along the mirrors and also my X-Acto knife to cut the foam board. Here I will be tracing out another square since I will be making two projects instead of one. Now I will be taking these four mirrors, flipping them over, removing all the stickers and the black tabs from the back. Now I will just be taking my four mirrors, positioning them before gluing them down with hot glue and also fixed all adhesive glue. So I will be taking these home picture frames and just removing the backing from all of them. I already removed the easel backing from this picture frame. So now what I will be doing is I will be removing all pictures and also all the screws and everything on the back of the frames just to be sure that my frames lay flat on top of my mirrors. Okay, so now I will be taking this 12 by 12 glitter paper that I picked up from my local Michaels craft store. I will just be tracing and cutting hearts. Initially, I did want to put pictures inside of these hearts, but it wouldn't have made any sense because of how the frame would be laying down on top of the mirrors. So that's why I just decided to cut out these hearts with this glitter paper. As you can see here, I am using the actual frame to trace the hearts, which these hearts are too small to fit back into the frames. So later on in the video, you will see that I use the actual cardboard heart to trace the hearts.
Okay, so once I got done cutting out all my hearts, I then took my frames outside to be spray painted. I will be using this silver metallic spray paint. Now you don't see the love frames in the video because I initially wanted to spray paint them a different color, but you will see them later on in the video. Okay, so initially I did want to spray paint the two love frames black, but as you can see up in the upper right hand corner, there was something going on with the nozzle on my spray paint can. So now I just will be taking this Mod Podge in this silver glitter, just going over all of my frames. I used about three coats of this glitter and Mod Podge mixture and this Mod Podge is also a sealer and a finish and for those of you who are wondering, the mixture will dry clear. Now I will be cleaning my mirrors off before gluing the frames down. Now that all my frames are dry, I will be flipping them over, taking all the hearts that I cut out, putting them in the back of the frames, and also putting the heart cardboard back onto the frames. I will be using this wood glue since the frames are wood. Now that everything is dry, I will be gluing these frames down on top of my mirrors with Fix All Adhesive Glue and also hot glue. The foam board on the bottom of these mirrors looks very noticeable, but you won't see it once it's hanging on the wall. Once all my frames are glued down to my mirrors, I'm going to sit something heavy on top, then come back, remove the glue strings, and add a few more decorations. Here's my finished look. 
I ended up adding the Dollar Tree beaded necklaces around my hearts. I just used hot glue to glue those down and also I used hot glue to glue down the heart gems. I think this project turned out really pretty, but tell me what you guys think down in the description box. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching.